Hello, uh, teacher. My name is Christian Cereceda from BAS 380 course, Global International Business. Um, and now I will present to you my case assignment. In this opportunity, I'm, I'm going to talk about Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, this company which is a fast food restaurant known worldwide. Colonel Sanders founded the brand and it has existed since 1930. The restaurant chain is a company headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, where it's originally. I'm to talk about three operations management decisions areas of KOC. Now, number one is design of goods and services. KFC offers a distinct high quality product to global market, which is a sole product that comes from unique recipe chicken with a blend of 11 herbs and spices. The ingredients and taste make the distinct and high quality product that represents a, sec a trade secret. Number two is managing quality. Quality management, management is important for successfully running businesses activities through, through keeping customers satisfied. The main important points approach focus first, first quality and then global business. Consider that the main 14 points globally is divided into seven concepts and co as continuous improvement, six sigma, employment empowerment, benchmarking, just-in-time, segwitching, and knowledge of TQM tools. And the number three management area is supply chain management. Supply chain management is the combination of activities that purchase, outsource, or hire materials or services, later transform them into intermediate goods as sellable final products for consumer. In general, KFC maintains three phases of supply chain. Primarily, materials are purchased from multiple suppliers and stored in two different warehouses. As we can see in the pictures, all the suppliers like chicken, vegetables, sauces, and other materials then we see two kind of warehouses cold and normal storage in order to finally be distributed to all branches and stores global strategies a global marketing strategy is varied from local because consumers preference differ spontaneously in the world from the product perspective KFC first identifies the consumer's likes and dislikes and culture before introducing new product. For cultural point of view, KFC introduced new strategies from known as Go Global Act Local. For instance, Malaysia and Indonesia KFC, considering the religion perspective, it introduces the Muslim halal food. In addition, lack of potato in both countries KFC start rice items as side dishes. Moreover, KFC considered the Islam issue, they introduce halal food in worldwide. Uh, uh, now I will start talking about how KFC uh, introduced uh, their, their brand in China or how was the strategy penetration marketing of KFC. KFC Global Market Penetration Strategy was easy, expand by staying local. Understanding the local culture, economic and regulatory difference becomes a key element in any global business strategy. Let's look at KFC's market penetration success story in China, for example. With its Go Global, Act Global, Act Local Market Penetration Strategy, KFC adapt their fast food model to fit the Chinese market by positioning itself as a native company, not a foreign. 
Specifically, KFC's success in China was accomplished by taking the following strategic steps. First, KFC identified customers likes and dislikes at the local and cultural level. Besides chicken, it, serve, it serves food that appeals to Chinese taste, items you would never find on an American KFC menu. Chicken with Sichuan spice sauce, rice, egg tarts, and soybean milk. It is also part of the Chinese culture to eat in groups, so KFC offers larger dishes for sharing. Second, KFC hired managers who read and speak the local language, who understand the Chinese consumer, the restaurant trade, as well as the Western way of doing business. Third, good restaurant brands know that the way, know that the way to customers' hair is through their stomach, but delicious food alone is not enough. We also need to deliver a comfortable store environment, excellent service, and a distinctive culture for our customers, said Tzu, Chairman and CEO of John Restaurants China and Vice Chairman John Brands. Therefore, KFC's restage also includes redesigned products packaging and immense service model, contemporary staff uniform, gradual rollout of a new store design and a number of digital initiatives including a new mobile app, e-menu and prepaid takeout option, she added. 4. KFC carefully followed Chinese restrict, strict foreign investment laws and entered joint ventures with local producers, a departure from its traditional US-based franchise approach. Franchise approach. But there were some changes made to foreign ownership regulation in the 1990s, which allowed the company to dissolve the joint venture structure. The fact that the comp company had established a good foothold in the market by then, with a strong distribution net network, stores, fleet, and flow of operations, helped it set to help it set out further and on its own. Um, Growth of KFC in China Although China mar Chinese market often represents a huge risk for many foreign companies, KFC's Go Global Act Local Market Penetration Strategy creates and fills an antique marketplace by identifying and prioritize culture, business, and regulatory sensitivity. As we can see here, the number of stores of KFC stores opened in China from the beginning 1987 and a big growth through the last decade. KFC China's operation and profitability took a fairly big hit starting from the first quarter of 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This led to temporary store closures, closures in many places and even permanent closures in some. During the peak of the pandemic in 2020, KFC had to close nearly 35% of its stores. However, the company has bounced back from this setback and looks to be back on track with its strategic, strategic vision of continuing to expand its presence in China. Geographic spread of KFC in China. When evaluating the growth of KFC in China, a key factor that needs to be taken into consideration is geography. Being a very large country, there is a high level of diversity in demographic variables for different regions of the country. The different cities in the country are often separated but by economies into four types based on economic growth, gross domestic product, and geographic reach. As we can see in the picture, we are listed here the type one and type two. For now we can talk about a little bit of these different types. The type three and four cities often have a lower economic output. 
which also means that cost of labor will be less. It is also common to see lower population and different social classes and classes and levels of employment in these cities when compared to Tier 1 and 2 cities. While other foreign brands like McDonald's have hesitated and stayed away from establishing outlets in lower city in lower tier cities due to lower perceived profitability. KFC has ventured and expanded much further in these areas as well. This distinction is also important to consider in the context of KFC's success in China. PESTLE analysis of KFC in China. Here is the summary of the key points of external environment of KFC in China using the PESTLE analysis tool, polit which means political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental. To see the first political uh, environment, external environment, we see internally stable, but China is internally stable, but externally volatile. Frequent territory and trade disputes. Frequent territory and trade disputes. In the economic sphere, we see price conscious customer and economic disparity between tiers of, tribe, of, of cities. At the social level, we see increasing average age of population. Food consum consumption is often in groups with sharing of dishes. Technological side means a customer value enhanced digital interaction, increasing concerns about data privacy. Uh, about legal, we see inconsistency in application of laws and regulation. Intellectual property rights are hard to enforce. And finally, in environmental, increasing demand for environmental, environmental friendly packaging, higher level of health conscious among consumers. Well, finally, the conclusions we can we can say the next the next about KFC China. KFC China's lo localization strategy has been comprehensive starting from tangible elements like products in the form of locally driven menu and store design such as its theme restaurants and frequent remodeling and extended and extending to intangible elements such as payment systems through the support of their various local payment providers and fashion facial recognition for payments and advertisement. Another thing that stands out is that KFC China expanded rapidly yet organically to lower tier cities, whereas competitors like McDonald's hesitate perhaps due to the perception of lower economic value. The fact that KFC expanded to the lowest tier of, tier of cities often means that it is the first foreign brand that residents of those localities experience. This continues to provide first mover advantage to the company, even to this day. The market share of KFC China has reminded high over the years. It is clear that China loves KFC and that the company's unassailable lead will, will hold strong for many more years to come. Even various food scandals over the years have failed to put a bend in the reputation and population of KFC in China. In conclusion, the company's strategy in China is an exemplary case study on the benefits of transnational strategy and how to execute it well. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day. Um, well, see you in next class. Okay.